Hey everybody, it's Mike from How to Land Any Job. We are continuing the series uh, around how to get more interviews. And we've already talked about how networking is the number one amazing way to overcome a lot of objections, get ahead of people and whatnot. Um, but uh, sometimes there are exceptions and, and networking is just not fast enough. Sometimes there is a hot job, you're a perfect fit for it, and you don't want to risk that your resume is not going to be seen. And so what do you do? So this ninja tip, uh, normally I save this ninja tip just for my paid clients and they get a lot of, a lot of the details in terms of how they do this. Um, but uh, you can probably figure out most of this on your own. What you're going to do is uh, you're not going to apply online and you're not going to network because we've already established that you don't have enough time to network. So what you, your next best thing to networking is you need to get you need to get your application read you need to get your resume read you need to get your cover letter read and in order to do that you need to get it actually in their email inbox so not uh, not through an online portal where you click submit it has to be in their email inbox not a LinkedIn message. It has to be their email inbox. Because if you can get your application in their email inbox, there's a really great chance it's going to be read, um, if not within the first couple days, uh, that, it, that it's going to be read immediately. Now, ideally, what we want to do is we want to take an educated guess in terms of someone that, uh, not only someone that works at the company, but also someone that works within the department and also who is at a level enough where they have, uh, if not decision-making ability to hire, uh, the ability to at least influence the decision. So this is a little bit different than, uh, than the way most of you are thinking. Uh, a lot of you have a tendency to reach out to the recruiter or someone in HR first. While recruiters and HR partners can be fantastic, when they're dealing with a flood of resumes, they're not necessarily going to give your resume as much attention. And also, ultimately, the hiring, the hiring manager and people within that department are going to recognize your brilliance and whether or not you're a good fit, uh, even more than the recruiter is. So how do you do that? Well, uh, the number one easiest thing you can do is, well, hopefully you opened up your LinkedIn account. You're going to go on LinkedIn. You're going to do an advanced search. You're not going to do a regular search. You're going to do an advanced search on LinkedIn. And you're going to search for uh, the company name. And uh, you're going to use the uh, your search by title and search for a title that would be found at a good level uh, within the department that you think this position reports into. So if it's a marketing level position, then you're going to be wanting to uh, look for at least people that have senior marketing manager in their title. If you're already at the manager, senior manager level, you're going to want to look for someone that's at least director level and above. If you're at director level and above, you're going to want to look for someone that's at least a vice president of marketing or a CMO. Works the same if you're looking for a finance position, a customer service position. Really doesn't matter what position you're looking for. Um, this technique works. So by doing that advanced search on LinkedIn, uh, you are identifying people that are likely in the department. And if you don't manage to uh, identify the exact hiring manager, that's okay. But you need someone's specific name. And uh, you are going to figure out what their email address is. Now, we don't have enough time in this video for me to give you all the techniques uh, in terms of figuring out someone's email address. But remember, you need to email them directly. It can't be a LinkedIn message. So 
If that's confusing you right now and you're not sure how to do that, you might want to hit pause on this video and think, how can I, how can I find someone's email address? Uh, once, you, uh, once you find someone's email address, uh, you email the person directly, and uh, a number of things might potentially happen. One, they might say, oh, thank goodness you sent this to me. Um, I'll take a look at it. So you found the right hiring manager. In some cases, maybe you shot a little high and maybe you, sh uh, you, know, you emailed the VP of marketing and it reports to the senior director of marketing. Well, worst case, that's actually better because the VP of marketing is going to be like, oh, thank you so much for you know, applying for my team. This reports to someone underneath it. Let me forward it to them. Now, you know, you, you sort of have this endorsement from the vice president of marketing, potentially. So if you're a really good writer, you might want to consider uh, emailing people to two levels above the position that, uh, that you're looking to get hired for. Now, last but not least, um, you know, maybe you get the wrong department because some companies are really large. They have different divisions. They have different uh, teams within those divisions. You know, you might, uh, you might email someone and they might go, well, that position doesn't report to me, but I just happen to be hiring for another position. Would you be interested in interviewing? So, so many awesome things can come from doing a little bit of LinkedIn re research, identifying a specific person to email, and then getting it in their email inbox. So if you have any questions about that, uh, feel free to comment, let me know, see what clarifications you have. Um, if you are a paid one-on-one -on -one client or you're in my courses, make sure you let, let me know you wanna know the super secrets that I don't have time to tell um, in these short videos. So um, wanna, uh, wanna get that to you. So hopefully you enjoyed that vid uh, this video. If you did, like it, share it with someone you love that might be able to benefit. And uh, I hope to see you soon at uh, How to Land Any Job.